I was bullied a lot growing up. You know, I had to stand up and defend myself. Growing up on Guam, it can be hard when you're a lighter skin tone. First of all, my last name is Tuck. So I was always looked at the outsider, even though my DNA is Chamorro, you know what I mean? To have the Chamorro heritage is very important because that's what runs through my veins and in my blood. My ancestors, they put their whole lives on the line to better our people. You know, the Chamorro heritage, that's where I get my fighting spirit from. That's what gives me strength, and bringing that into each fight is very special to me. When you look on the map, you can't even spot it, but for me, that's even better because I'm always gonna be the underdog going into every fight that I walk into. After high school, I got into hanging out too late, eating all the bad food, and didn't help that my family owned a catering business. Uh, they used to sell funnel cakes and, and all the deep fried treats. I just seen my health decline. I was 215 and I wanted to change my life for the better and I always loved martial arts. Cool. There you go. Went into my first training in a dojo. I managed to do well and I picked up the technique and I was hooked. I was hooked from there and I just took off. Once a week turned into twice a week, twice a week turned into every single day of the week and it all led up to this point. Tuck supremely confident. You know, he's not just satisfied with putting Guam on the UFC map. He wants to make a run here at 155. Definitely blessed to be signed by the UFC, and I'm still in the game since 2012, and I'm just getting better every time I go in there. Oh! John Tuck smelling blood in the water here. They had the first Macau China card, and I fought against China's best. There, there's a the tap. So the knockdown and then the submission for Guam. John Tuck. The best performance of his career. I just want to thank everybody that flew out from Guam, all 500 plus. One thing that really sets John apart from all the other fighters on Guam is his level of commitment. Other guys want to just be the best on the island, they're happy with that. You know, John wants to be the best in the world, and he always said that. Going into training camp is gonna be easy because I have all the great training partners here that help push me every day to get to the next level. Leave off island, work with some high level coaching and tweak some things and go into the fight looking like an ace, you know? I'm here from my island and represent where I'm from. They're gonna know who the first world champion is from this place.